This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. There are times when you have a list of tasks in Outlook and you want those Outlook tasks to become tasks in Project. No reason to reinvent the wheel and no reason to retype your tasks. Let me show you how you can simply import tasks from Project into, excuse me, from Outlook into your project. So first of all, you want to be on the task ribbon. So you click the task tab to activate the ribbon. Down here at the end, you have insert task. And there are multiple ways you can insert task, but the way I want to do it is right here. I want to import Outlook tasks. And when I click import Outlook tasks, it just takes me out there. It knows. Okay, now there's just a little caveat here. It knows where my Outlook tasks are because I have an Outlook account and I have it set up on this computer. So if you are not set up to utilize Microsoft products, excuse me, if you're not set up to use email, then you have to set it up. And Microsoft products work perfectly. So an Outlook account will automatically connect just like mine connected. So if you make that choice that you want to go get your Outlook tasks, remember, first of all, you have to have a, an account and then Outlook has to be configured and user-friendly on your computer. It takes seconds, seriously. I took, oh, okay, a little more than seconds, but approximately three minutes for me to set up my Outlook account on this computer. So don't worry about it taking a long time. It's quite easy. What we do then is we just check the boxes for the project tasks that we want. I only have two tasks. These are only tasks that I have in, inside of Outlook. So you can check the boxes over here or at the bottom, you can simply choose select all. Now I did choose select all. My check marks didn't show up, but I'm not going to stress about that because you can see that select all is selected. And so then I simply say, okay. And I give it a second to think and I can see something happened. You see, 14 days. Right, the question mark, so we scroll down, and what it did is it appended the project lines to the bottom. And it said, okay, you have two new things. You can email Anna about the filming, excuse me, about the filming project and proofread the script. Now you'll notice that then I'll have to rearrange them and put them where I want them in the project, and I'll have to determine the days, how many days each project line item is but it automatically places them in here. It automatically attaches the project based on the start date of the project. Now, once I do something with these though, and I put them into my project, they're here and they're good. So it's very, very simple. Just remember, task, insert, task, and import Outlook tasks, and it'll automatically go find your tasks for you. It's time to answer a pop quiz question. When importing Outlook tasks, which of the following is true? A, all tasks must be imported. B, only one task at a time may be imported. C, this may be only done one time. D, it is possible to select which tasks to import. The correct answer, D. It is possible to select which task to import and you do not have to import all at one time. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.